Hello and welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial number 10. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put up a photo gallery on your website. So what we do is we come up to the upper part here where it says tools uh, and we scroll down to where it says Coffee Cup Photo Gallery. Okay, we click on that. And then we get to make a, a selection from all of these. Um, and then, of course, your, your tool tip here. But I'm just going to close that for now. And I think I'm going to go with, let's see what this, this looks like. It could be fun, right? So let's try this one. And we're going to open this one up. And um, here you can choose what size you want your photos to be resized to. Now I did no resize because the, um, and it said, of course it says it could increase the time, but it depends on if, if you already have small photos anyway, then yes, you know, <laughs> it makes it, it's, yeah. <laughs> I can't see um, enlarging them or whatever. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to, now you can either add a folder or you can add uh, photos. Now, like, let's say if you have several uh, galleries, photo galleries that you want to have, up, one for like your vacation and one for your picnics that you have um, <laughs> during the summer, or special events during the summer or something, then, uh, and then maybe a Christmas folder, you know, with all those pictures, then you can add a folder. But I don't have any of that, so I'm just going to add photos. And we're going to choose, these are my photos. I'm going to choose, and I there's no need to be <laughs> taking up time. So I will um, go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. One thing I did want to mention <laughs> before I leave. Um, down here, you'll see arrows where you can actually move your um, slideshow over and so on. Here it says, um, this is to add your photos. This is to add a caption or delete photos. And then you can also, for each photo, you can also enter your caption right here. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have those all up. And you can um, put this up here, like I said, the album description. You can certainly uh, put on there, you know, a Christmas album or whatever. Uh, since I don't have that, uh, I'm not going there. <laughs> Uh, and here, as you can see, you can have your font face, you can choose your background colors, um, you can do a lot of different, your opacity, um, your border color, and if you go to advanced, it, it gets just a little bit more crazy. Uh, if you want to go ahead and go in there, you can even choose the background color, the border, whether or not you want it uh, to show, or if it's dash, the border color and uh, the, the typeface and so on. But we're not gonna go there. But I want you to come, we're gonna go back to the album settings. And if you come down here, you can also add sound on this if you want to. And so I'm gonna double click that. Or, yeah, I don't have to double click. I'm gonna choose Super Cheese just because it sounds interesting. <laughs> double click that and it's locked in there. So now I'm done. So I'm gonna click I'm done. And there it is. Okay, so now we're going to, um, you can actually preview that if you want to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, it's asking me where I want to save it. So I will save it, and on the next one we shall continue. Thank you for watching.